All right, welcome back. And oh, just when the standing, we are going to go and do some of the Brotherhood of Steel quests. But before we do, let's go ahead to Novak and uh, sell some shit. Oh joy, but we're going to do some, go to the Brotherhood of Steel right now, get this out of the way, and uh, I actually never went to the Brotherhood of Steel with Veronica at first, I'd always do it after. What's up, Boone? Well, hopefully three days have passed and I can sell this guy some stuff. Welcome back. Can I get you anything? Yep, show me what you got for sale. Sure thing. Have a look. Okay. Uh... Ooh, that's worth a lot of cabs. I should sell that grenade launcher because I already have one. I think I already have one. Alright. Well, let's see what you got. Let's see if you got any good. I'll take your free cases. Let's see if this guy gets a dog bowl. That's kind of okay. Five five six drum magazine. I wonder if I could put that on Plasma Weapon Mag Accelerator. We will buy that. We will buy that. Uh Okay. What else did was I gonna sell your ass? Well, you know what? Eddie got the stuff I wanna sell your ass, but let's see if I can mod. Where the hell is it? This thing. Ooh, I can. Plasma Web Mag Accelerator. Increases the speed of the plasma projectile. That will come in handy. Alright, what do you guys got? You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Ah, Eddie has all my weapons. Welcome back. Can I get? Uh... Let's see. All right. I got more stuff to sell you. You got any ammo? Well, I guess I'll buy your ammo. You got hella microfusion cells, you got some overcharged ones too. Hella fucking electron packs, I will take you. Uh, grenade rifle. That shit's just a waste of space. 292 caps left, huh? Eh, we'll sell that. We lost six caps off that deal, but no biggie. All right, Come. goodbye. All right, so let's go to the Brotherhood of the Steels, and it's right there. So it's fast travel here. I'm probably going to do the Brotherhood of Steel and also do the Black Mountain quest. Oh, okay, it changes how it looked, too. That's kind of cool. Well, let's go up here and discover Sloan and... Let's fucking destroy this guy.
and he didn't die. We're gonna go up here and discover Sloan, and then probably after we do get some of the Brotherhood quests out of the way, and then, uh. God, this thing's rate of fire is fucking terrible. Get these, uh. Black Magic, or Black Mountain, and then, uh. Brotherhood quests out of the way, and then we'll probably go. Clear uh, Quarry Junction and get rid of the Death Claws because we're at we're at high enough level now and we got some good guns so we could probably take these guys on. Let's eat some food though. Damn, I don't got any Sunset Sarsaparillas. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I actually never went and went to the Brotherhood of Steel with Veronica at first. I'd always just, uh, you know, go there and they have a quest where you could, uh... I've heard the Legion's planning to unleash their best men against us. This is all new. Oh, well, looks like they want to do the light poles, but they can't because of the death claws. Let's discover this place real quick. There we go. Alright. So, um, Hidden Valley Bunker. It's right there. Which way should I go? Guess we will go this way. I'm also going to be probably downloading a new mod um, that all it does is uh, it's the uh, weapon mod manager or whatever and it just allows you to put on and then take off weapon mods on weapons because normally they're like permanently stuck on there so Look at all the little critters running. They're getting fucked up though. But yeah, the mod just allows you to take off uh, weapon mods because once you put them on in the default game, they're pretty much stuck there, which seems kind of silly oh hi little guys good thing I got this damn thing this thing fucks up everything this gun's good I gotta get the scope mod for it because the uh, red dot sight is a little crooked and I'm pretty sure the bunker in the middle is the one for the brotherhood I think it's this one actually right here Where's the ho There's hollow rock here, too. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, Eddie. Whatever you say. Let's do a save. Hold on, I've got this. All right, right on, Veronica. I'd like a large atomic shake and a double Brahmin burger. And easy on the agave sauce this time. We gave you a password, Veronica. It's for your safety. I know where you live, Ramos. Open up. <sighs> for Pete's sake, opening up. Welcome back, Veronica. Well, you got friends here, don't you? Let's talk to these guys. The Brotherhood of Wheel.
Listen up. I'm in charge of security around here. And I can't say I'm too happy about having an outsider waltzing around. But since you came in with Veronica, I'm inclined to cut you a little slack. Just behave yourself, and we won't have any problems, okay? Oh, and the Elder's going to want to talk to you. He's on the second level. Just take a right once you get down there. My office is right here in case you need anything. Just ask for Ramos. Okay. And you have a regular gas rifle, you fucking vampire eyes. Motherfucker. Hey yourself, kiddo. I think we could steal shit in here. Nope, I guess we cannot. Okay. I thought I would try. Well, let's go talk to the elder. And I wanted to get these quests out of the way before I started uh, Dead Money anyways, because it talks about um, Father Elijah, which is the uh, dude in Dead Money. Well, this quest line, and uh, so does Helios 1. Okay, don't talk to me. Maybe we got to talk to her first. Hello, Veronica. How goes your mission? We'll know in a second. I wanted to talk to you. Veronica, tell me this isn't about... Yes, goddammit, it is. But you're gonna hear me out this time. We've been through this. The things I've seen now, other groups succeeding where we fail, it's not too late for us. We've outlasted the end of the world. We'll outlast these upstarts. Waiting in a hole for everyone else to die. If we must. This is a dead end for us. I see no evidence of that. Nor do I see anyone out there with a solution to our problems. How could you? You're too scared to look. Let's go. We're wasting our time. Uh, I want to talk to this guy. When Paladin Ramos informed me that Veronica was approaching with an outsider in tow, at first I didn't know what to think. After giving the matter some thought, however, I've decided that an outsider could be of use to me right now. However, I will not force you to help us. Should you refuse, you will be allowed to leave here, though you'd remain Veronica's responsibility. What do you say, outsider? Are you willing to help us? Um, uh, yeah, I'll help you. Then allow me to explain our situation. This bunker is currently locked down, allowing no entry or exit, with you being one of the few exceptions. In exceptional cases, teams are sent out to investigate sites or retrieve materials deemed too important to ignore. <laughs> Three such teams have gone missing recently, and the news of their disappearance has not yet been widely spread to avoid undue concern. In order to maintain the peace and adhere to the strictures of the lockdown, I need to send someone else to discover what happened to them. Um, I already found a couple of your patrols. The paladins were all dead. That is unfortunate. As long as there is a chance to find the remaining patrol, however, I must still ask you to try. I'll start looking immediately. I'm glad I can count on you. Oh, and one other thing. The patrols each had a holotape detailing their missions that you can use to track them. The shielding of the bunker prevents us from actively tracking them, but their positions should show up on your map once you get to the surface. Should our worst fears become realized, please bring back all three of the holotapes from the patrols. Otherwise, bring our brothers home. I've given the order that you be given access to some of the equipment our scouts and patrols have scavenged over the years. You won't be allowed to purchase any prohibited equipment, but hopefully some of what's available will prove useful to you. Alright. So... We're gonna do Black Mountain since we'll go up this way. And, uh... I don't know, there's an access point to it. The last uh, patrol group over there, but we're gonna talk to some people in the bunker before we I'd do that. I slept him around, but he stood at my parents' wedding. Plus, he used to make excuses to get me out of my punishment when I'd slept through head scribe Taggart's lectures. Figure I owe him for that. <sighs> he means well. Uh. So what now? I'm not giving up. He wants evidence, but he'll never go looking for it. He's scared I'm right. He'll never listen unless I hold the proof right in front of his face. What are you talking about? 
I think, oh, they skipped. She's supposed to say this after I talk to the next guy. Uh, you think the Elder will listen at all? He's a stubborn old man, but when it comes down to it, he's got our best interests at heart. If he sees some indisputable sign we're on the wrong course, he won't ignore it. So what is it you're trying to accomplish? That's my question to the Elder. All these years, the Brotherhood has collected weapons technology. And for what? To keep it out of people's hands? That clearly hasn't worked. To defend ourselves? We can't compete with the NCR's numbers or the Legion's. We're fighting a war for a lost cause. If we're going to survive, we have to find a role in society, attract new members. Uh, how would you propose to do that? Look at the followers of the Apocalypse. They use their expertise to improve people's lives. They train them to be self-sufficient. That expertise cultivates respect and gratitude, spreads their ideals, draws talent to their cause. They make friends like we make enemies. But they don't know a fraction of what we know. If we took on their role, we could stand up to anyone. We wouldn't have to hide. Uh, what could we bring to the, to him that would change his mind? I don't know. I don't know. We need something that shows the Brotherhood will fail. Or that it can do better a different way. The only thing that gets his attention is technology. Huh. Maybe Father Elijah had the right idea. Yeah, Father Elijah. Our elder before McNamara. He had a nose for recovering lost technology. He'd send scribes out into the desert, chasing whatever leads he found. There were a few he only trusted me with. I can think of at least one that'd prove my point, if it still exists. There's a comm terminal not too far from here I'd use to access messages from him. If we go there, I can pull up his research on it. Alright. Let's, uh... Where is Father Elijah's notes? I'm with you. Being around here isn't the same anymore. This asshole's gonna talk to us, but uh, this is Veronica's blah 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 quest. I can make you care. It's by the scrapyard, huh? So, you're the outsider that's been given leave to wander around freely. Desperate times call for desperate measures, I guess. Name's Harden. I'm the head paladin of this chapter, and I think we might be able to help each other out. I don't know what the Elder talked to you about, but I can tell you this chapter is in trouble, and he's at the center of it. Are you willing to listen to what I have to say? Yeah, sure, go ahead. As you may have already heard, this entire base is under a state of lockdown. No one goes out except small patrols at night. Most of the chapter has been sealed in here for years. And those few who were outside when the lockdown was initiated are forbidden from returning. Morale has plummeted as time has gone by. And many of our current paladins haven't seen combat outside of training simulations. And all because of the Elder's explicit order that no one be allowed in or out. The only way things will change is if a new Elder is installed. What do you propose? I don't know. I've gone through our records dozens of times looking for a precedent regarding the dismissal of an elder and come up with nothing. The people who are most likely to know how it could be done are also some of McNamara's strongest supporters, so they refuse to help me, which is why we're having this conversation. An outsider such as yourself would arouse less suspicion asking questions about such matters. The fact that the elder has some tasks for you means his faithful won't suspect you, and you have a line open to the man himself. In short, you're in a perfect position to help me. Will you at least think about it? I'll see what I can do. That'll have to do. I'd recommend going to see Ramos first. As head of security, he's more familiar with our protocols than anyone else here. You could also try to find something relevant in our data store, though last I heard Scribe Ibsen is having a bit of a problem accessing it. And if McNamara should give you any tasks, I'd ask that you kept me abreast of them. Report anything you find to me, and we'll move from there. What is this? Veronica oh, brings an outsider into our home, then has a private audience with the Elder? The two of you may have the Elder fooled, but we know better. Veronica has always twisted the Founder's principles to her own ends. We will not stand idly by and allow her to corrupt our Elder's thinking. Okay, you guys got unique guns, or new guns that Sorry I want. Sorry about that. Just because I love them doesn't mean some of them aren't assholes. <laughs> Pardon? Veronica. Hello. 
All right, we're not gonna do uh, Harden's thing. He wants to basically overthrow the current leader of this chapter of the Brotherhood of the Steel. Hey, bro, where's your gun? <laughs> but uh, we're gonna go to the armory because there's also a little mini quest in here if you talk to the girl. Uh, we gotta find the lost laser pistol. The word came down from the Elder that I'm to offer you some of our lesser wares. As if I didn't have other matters on my mind. Uh, anything I could help you with? If you must know, my inventory check this week shows that our weapon count is one short. Somehow we're missing a laser pistol. Harden will have my head if I don't find that weapon soon. I can't delay my report to him any longer. I could look around for the pistol. If you happen to find it, bring it here right away. I might be able to throw a few supplies your way if you do. Alright. Have you found it? I need to give my report to Harden soon. No, not not yet. Then we have nothing further. Uh, show me what you Our got Our patrols are always bringing more stuff in. Take a look. Alright, so I know what the pistol is that she's looking for, but I gotta talk to a couple people. Chinese sniper rifle. Okay, that's new. Uh, I have to talk to a couple people first because, um... It won't spawn until you do. Damn, you guys don't have shit until I do this, too. Alright, see you later. And you could actually get in there and steal all their shit. Well, this guy has some information. Welcome to the range. Feel free to use any open land. Uh, do you know anything about a weapon that's gone missing? Torres must be getting desperate if she's accepting help on this one. I'll tell you what I told her. My records show that Initiate Stanton was the last to check it out. But checked it back in a day later. Okay. But so we gotta go find that guy. Pretty sure he's over here. Or no, that's not it. Is he over here? Yes, can I help you? Ah, here we go. You were the last one to check out the missing laser pistol, right? Oh, man. I told Watkins this wasn't going to work. Look, Watkins and I snuck out one day. She said it'd be a training exercise. Said she heard from a guy on one of the patrols that there was a gulch just southeast of Fear with scorpions in it, and that we had to check it out. There were scorpions out there, all right. We started using them for target practice. But before we knew it, the damn things were all around us. So we made a run for it, and in all the commotion, I dropped my pistol. Watkins keeps urging me to go back and get it, but that's not going to happen. You can go outside, though, can't you? You can return the pistol to Torres and clear this whole thing up for me. Uh, fine, I'll find the gun for you. Great. <coughs> when you find it, just turn it into Torres and I'll be in the clear. <coughs> all right. Hello. So, yeah, I had to talk to him real quick because otherwise it doesn't fucking spawn. Which, uh, I have no idea why. But we ain't gonna be doing the other paladin's quest either because he just wants to overthrow. And I think he makes everything worse. <laughs> forget exactly. Well, let's go up here to uh, Black Mountain. 